We left Dutch Harbor this morning and came through Analga Pass. The passes between the Aleutians can be really nasty with some really big chop and strong currents, but we timed it perfectly for slack tide and just whisked through with no problems, perfectly calm seas. And here we are in the big Pacific. It's really exciting to be back out here. And fog's lifted, you can see the islands back here. It's just uh, going downwind, going fast. So here we have Shalden smoking away a little bit. So here we are cruising through Deer Passage. Uh, just coming into the western tip of the Alaska Peninsula. And it's calm, it's sunny out, it's warm. There's lots of mountains to look at. Uh, there's King Cove right there other side of the passage and uh, sure beats sailing in the Arctic. So we're just going past uh, Round Island here just outside Sand Point and I don't know, there's probably a couple hundred nesting kittiwakes here in the cliffs. It's uh, pretty amazing, they make a racket. smooth run from Dutch Harbor. Uh, we pulled into a little bay just by Sand Point. Uh, we would have gone further trying to get all the way to Geographic Harbor, but the wind is supposed to come east. Actually, it's just started to come east, and that would be right on the nose, and it's supposed to build. So, pulled in here for a few days while that passes. Biggest sea star hanging on our anchor chain. Big fella. Time to go back to the drink. Come on, I gotta eat. I wanna stay here, trust me. Putting on the staysail here because uh, the forecast is for pretty strong winds, uh, fortunately from astern, but wanna be ready so you have this little headsail uh, in case you wanna put away all the other sails like the jib and the main. We uh, had a pretty good passage, but first, what did it take, like two and a half days? Yeah, it took almost three days almost to get three here. Days. Yeah, and the first two days were pretty good. We uh, Actually, the biggest problem was just that there wasn't enough wind, so we ended up motoring a bit. Um, and so now we have to head over to Kodiak because we're running low on fuel. But then the last day was pretty nasty. I mean, Shelikov Strait is kind of known for being unpleasant and, uh, and lived up to that reputation. The wind was funny. It would go from like 30 knots to nothing. Of course, when there was nothing, there was still swell, so we were rolling around a lot, and then 30 knots again. It was, uh, yeah, odd and not very comfortable. Yeah, but here we are back in Geographic Harbor, uh, where we came in 2014. We spent about a week here in 2014 at the end of August, and the salmon were running up the river behind us here, and there were like dozens of bears with their little cubs and all fishing in the stream. Uh, so we were really hoping that we would see that again this year, but... Yeah, I mean, there have been bears along the beach and stuff, but none of them sort of concentrated around the stream picking salmon out. So we've decided we're going to uh, carry on to another little bay up the coast here and check that out and something new and different.
this super little narrow entrance to the harbor. It's a lot of current going out. get in it's just this huge open bay can't really see now because it's totally misty and buggy but it's huge the current is just tearing back into this harbor so we came over here to this forest service cabin we met the guys uh, from it and we're gonna go spend the evening with them and it looks like we'll be able to sail onto our anchor tonight it's pretty cool Went for a walk today from the Forest Service cabin over to this other bay here and found tons of bear tracks and this digging where they were digging for clams here. And, um, and then we just saw three bears actually um, up on the cliffs behind us over there. Um, uh, they're gone now. So we came out um, just from across the other side of the little point here about 20 minutes ago. You can see our tracks, and since we came across, obviously another bear has come through here. We got some new, nice new bear tracks coming out right using the same trail we did. Don't know where he went though, he sort of went off this way, and I guess he's probably in the bushes over here, but who knows, hopefully he's not on the trail when we go back across. So just flaying this beautiful king salmon that uh, tender here to these guys doing commercial fishing uh, brought over to us just a minute ago. These guys, I think they have a 52 hour opener, so the 52 hours of fishing out in Shalikov Strait here. And uh, yeah, pretty nice of them to give us this beautiful fish. So we're just leaving now. Uh, Geographic Harbor is all the way in the back there, and then where we anchored up for the last two nights, there's a little um, Park Service cabin. They've got two guys living out here uh, for the whole summer, and then a uh, supervisor was out just for a week. She uh, flew out on a seaplane this morning, but uh, we've had a really great time here, and uh, now we're headed across Shelikov Strait. Got looks like some southerlies for the moment. It's supposed to come west, but. Uh, but this is great. I mean, we can we can sail the whole way if it keeps up like this. So uh, I hope it does.